Almost three quarters of the Earth's surface is covered by water. But the vast world beneath the waves remains largely unexplored. Like the land we inhabit, the ocean floor is full of mountain ranges, valleys, and plains. As technology improves, scientists are finding new ways to map these features and learn more about them. One way scientists map the ocean floor is with the help of sonar systems that see with sound. By sending sound waves from a ship to the floor and back again, they get a picture of what lies below. In 1999, a team of researchers used side-scan sonar to find astronaut Gus Grissom's Liberty Bell 7 space capsule. 38 years earlier, the capsule had splashed down into the Atlantic Ocean, some 300 miles off the coast of Florida. Grissom was rescued, but the vessel was lost at sea. Its exact location at the bottom of the ocean was impossible to predict. These coordinates represent NASA's best estimates. Kurt Newport led the team to an area three miles wide and eight miles long, roughly the size of Manhattan. In a process called mowing the lawn, they spent days towing a sonar vessel through a series of nine search lines. With each pass, acoustic signals traveled to the ocean floor, extending 500 yards on either side. The computer on board the ship converted the returning or reflected signals into a sonar display. These images don't look like much to the untrained eye. Mud and sand appear as shades of gray, while harder, more reflective objects show up as bright blips and dark shadows. Sound waves cast an echo or shadow behind every object, and these shadows help define the object. You'll see an actual shadow behind it, just like we're looking yeah. at. Based on these images, the team figured out the size of each object and compiled a list of likely targets. A remote-operated vehicle called Magellan was sent to the bottom to investigate the most promising targets. An onboard camera lets the team look around. Oh my God, this is it. With luck on their side, they find the Liberty Bell 7 capsule on the first try. <laughs> It never happens. Oh, yeah, it does. It never happens Screw to me. What? You it never it. happens to me. I don't believe it. <laughs> Today, only small sections of the ocean floor have been mapped in this way. Charting the entire ocean with sonar technology would take decades because research vessels travel too slowly. But this sort of undertaking might not be necessary. Here's why. The surface of the ocean mimics the topography of the floor, with dips and bumps too small for us to see. They can be mapped with a very precise altimeter, positioned on a satellite. Scientists are piecing together data from satellites and generating 3D maps that reveal major structures on the ocean floor. Oceans are the last great frontier on our planet. Thanks to new technologies, we now have ways to map them without getting our feet wet. <laughs>